good morning students so in continuation of the crop production and management next we are going to discuss about the manures and fertilizer okay so the repeated cultivation of the same crops if you, if anybody have the own crop system what happen the repeated cultivation continuously the farmer get cultivated okay these repeated cultivation that depletes the mineral nutrients okay so the same agricultural land that depletes the mineral nutrients and uh, some of the other useful contents are present in the soil so all those things are depleted okay due to this uh, crop production uh, disease uh, and uh, over uh, economic yield okay that uh, here i am giving the some mistake okay decreased so not as a disease no? due to this uh, crop production decreased and then lower economic yield okay finally it gives the lower economic yield the fertility of the soil enhanced by the adding manures and then fertilizer okay npk is the most important elements what do you mean by the npk that is the very important nutrients for the plants npk nitrogen and then phosphorus potassium that is called as the npk so these are all the nitrogen phosphorus potassium are the three most and the most important elements for the healthy growth of the plant and then development of the crop plants okay so it which can be supplemented in the soil through the manures or fertilizer so there is a deficiency of the npk that can be altered by the adding chemical fertilizer or manures okay so first one we are going to discuss about the manures what is manure manure is the organic substance it is a very organic substance or organic matter that is obtained from the decomposition of the animal excreta or uh, plant waste okay plant waste and then uh, like a cow dung and then plant residues okay from that the manures are prepared okay the manures are the it is supplies the small quantities of the nutrients it increase the fertility of the soil so normally it increase the the fertility the land should fertile if you are using the manure okay based upon the biological waste materials used manures are classified into four types one is the farmyard manure and then compost vermicompost and then green manure okay so these are all the things based upon the waste material uh, these are all the four types of the manures so first one fym that is the farmyard manure okay that's types okay farmyard manure what do you mean by the farmyard manure so it is a farmyard manure it is a brown manure it is also called as the brown manure okay it is a prepared by the decomposed mixture of animal waste with litter what do you mean by the litter okay litter is generally uh, like a straw you know that urine along with the litter okay the animal waste that left to over organic matter uh, like a roughage and then fodder roughage we know that and then fodder means uh, what is it livestock uh, feed that is called as the fodder okay so that that decomposition of the animal waste and then cow dung and then uh, uh, cow urine and then litter okay the straw so these are all decomposed uh, that produce the farmyard manure okay the how they are prepared the waste are collected and stored in a pit for a decomposition by microorganism so it takes uh, four to five months for the formation this contains the nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so it stimulates the seed germination and then plant growth okay uh, the residue of the gobar case uh, is a plant is a type of farmyard manure okay there will be a several advantages for the farmyard manure the next one is the compost and vermicompost we already studied uh, it is uh, uh, already in the 600 and 700 we know very well compost okay compost is the it is prepared from the farm and town a refuse a sewage waste and then weeds vegetable and then animal refuse simply if you are taking that all wastes okay recyclable waste okay this recyclable waste okay uh, maybe the, it may be the vegetable waste or livestock excreta or animal refuse or anything it may be the weeds okay this organic matter uh, is uh, decomposed by the help of the composting what do you mean by the composting composting is the biological process in which the both aerobic and anaerobic microorganism decompose the organic matter okay that is called as the composting okay normally the composting it takes a 3 to 6 month for decomposition of the organic refuse okay that is a composting 
then next one vermicompost what do you mean by the vermicompost so the same compost okay same compost is also prepared by using the earthworms okay to hasten the process of decomposition of the plant and animal refuse that is called as the vermicomposting okay so here normally uh, the pit the earthworms are introduced into the pit that containing the plant and an animal waste then finally the earthworm that converts the waste into the manures okay that is the compost and vermicomposting then last one is the green manure okay green manure what do you mean by the green manure growing the green manure we know that green manure is prepared from the young and then fast growing green leguminous crop plants okay so normally the growing of the green plants and then mulching and then by pluffing okay so what happens uh, they are pluffing the land along with that leguminous plants okay so and mixing of these green uh, crops with the soil to improve the physical structure of the soil fertility okay uh, it gives the what is it normally we know that uh, the practice of growing green plants prior to sowing the crop seeds okay and then pluffing the green plants into the soil for the purpose of improving the physical structure of the soil okay so it supplies the nitrogen and phosphorus organic matter for improving the hydration and then aeration what do you mean by the hydration and aeration we know that okay hydro the water gets easily enter and then air also get easily enter into the soil and then it provides the protection against the erosion and then leaching they are quick growing leguminous and non leguminous plants like agar and then cowpea lentil are grown in the field for about 6 to 8 weeks and turned into the field for the flowering stage the crops remain buried for about 1 to 2 months okay then it has the uh, high nutrient input okay that is called as the green manure then what are all the advantages of the manure so if you are if we using the uh, manure there will be certain advantages is there okay first one the manure that restores the soil texture for better retention of water and aeration okay and then uh, they enrich the soil nutrients soil with the nutrients okay since manure contain the nutrients in the small quantities they are needed to be applied in the large amounts in the field okay then they maintain the humus content of the soil and then it add the large amount of organic matter organic matter into the soil and then uh, these organic matter increases the water holding capacity and then the organic manures that provide the food for the soil organism and then it is a uh, eco friendly okay normally it protect the environment they are biologically waste material with, uh, which are uh, advantageous as they protect protect our environment okay so these are all the advantages of the manure okay then disadvantages what are all the disadvantages is the so same like that each and everything has the advantage and disadvantage here also some disadvantages is there so it is the bulky okay normally uh, it the manures are relatively bulky materials okay therefore it is a uh, very difficult to store and then transport okay so inconvenient to handle we cannot store in the area and then transport is a uh, very difficult and then the manures uh, uh, can supply the nutrients only limited extent okay uh, but it is uh, not nutrient specific it not a nutrient specific if the plant need the nitrogen the manure does not give the nitrogen okay so that is a uh, not nutrient specific nutrients are released slowly not keeping the phase of with a high and then rapid demand of the nutrients by high yield hybrid varieties of the crops okay so and then these are all the disadvantages that present in the manures okay thank you